Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this very quick Halloween poster in Word. So the first thing is I'm going to turn my page to landscape. So go to layout, orientation, landscape. Then I'm going to use a background picture. So insert, picture, and I'm going to use stock images that are already in the Word software. In the search bar, I'm going to type out Halloween. Then I'm going to scroll down for an appropriate image. I'm going to use this one, select it, click insert. Once it's inserted, make sure it's still selected. Go to picture format, wrap text, and select behind text. Then move it up to the corner, grab the other corner, and stretch it across the page. Then go to insert, text box, click on the drop down and select draw text box, click and drag out a box. When a text box is inserted, it's got a white background and a black border, both of which we need to get rid of. Select it, go to shape format, go to shape outline, click on the drop down and select no outline, go to shape fill, click on the drop down, no fill. Double click inside so the cursor is there and begin to type. I'm going to change and customize my text, select it, go to home. For this demonstration, I'm going to select this font here. I'm going to select font size 80. So I'm just going to use this increase font size icon here. Take that all the way up to 80. And then I'm also going to center my text. I'm also going to make that bold. And then instead of customizing all of the text box again, I'm simply going to copy and paste this text box. Now you can do that by Command or Control C, followed by Command or Control V, but I'm just going to select it, hold down my Alt or Option key, click and drag out another text box. In this one, I'm going to type party, select it, and then I'm going to reduce the size of this to 48, reduce the size of that box there, line that up. Once again, I'm going to hold down my Alt or Option key, select and drag out a new box. I'm going to group these two together, hold down my Command or Control key while I select the first one, select the second one, go to Group and select Group. Now they're one complete element. And then I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste this one again as we're going to put some text down the bottom. So for this one, again, I'm going to select it and type. Go to the Home tab. We're going to reduce the size of this to 20. And I'm also going to change the font to Big Book. And to move that over to the side here. And then for this one, I'm going to select it, change the font to a matic, reduce the font size down to 20. Actually, I'm going to reduce this one down to 14, the one at the top, invitation. There we go. I'm just going to type out some text. Then I'm going to move the alignment over to the right hand side. Okay, so only move that one. So select all of the text and move it over to the right hand side. Let's just reduce that down. Again, holding down my Alt key, click and drag out a new text box. Once again, I'm going to type out my text. And then I'm also going to go up and change the alignment to left alignment. And then I'm going to make sure these two boxes are perfectly lined up. So select first box, hold down the Alt or Option key, select the second box, go to Shape Format, Align, Align to Top. Make sure they're spaced out exactly where you want them. I'm just going to move my arrow key to move that one slightly to the left. Once you're happy, select them both, go to Group, click on the drop down and select Group. Again, they're all one complete element. Then go to Insert, Shapes, Line, 
and then I'm just going to click and drag out a line. Then I'm going to go to Shape Format, Format Pane, and then on the bucket icon here, go down to Line, got Solid Line checked, Color Black, and then I'm going to increase the width here by adjusting the up arrow here, just keep clicking until you're happy. That's about right. I'm just going to move just a little bit to make sure that that's in the middle. The line's not quite long enough, so I'm just going to click on it, stretch it up. If that happens, just use Command or Control Z. Hold down your Shift key while you're dragging out this line and make sure it's perfectly straight or perfectly vertical. As you can see, it's jumping between those two lines and I want it somewhere in the middle. I'm trying to line it up with the top of the text. So if I need to make small increments, select it, go to Shape Format, and over to Height here, you can see it says 2.22. I'm going to take that up to 2.40, press Enter, and then I'm just going to move the text because then it means I can see the edges of that line. That's about right there, just using my arrow keys. Once I'm happy, I'll hold down the Command or Control key again, select the two elements, the text and the line, go to Shape Format, Group, and select Group. And now you can move those around together. Now we're just going to introduce some additional graphics. So go to Stock Images, Icons. In here, I'm going to search that. I'm going to select this image here and click Insert. Again, you can't move it, so go to Graphic Format, Wrap Text, In Front of Text. And we're just going to stretch that out to make it a little bit bigger. You can rotate it using this small ball at the top. And then again, over to the menu, and I'm going to search, and I'm going to search for Pumpkin. Select this Pumpkin, click Insert. Again, the same, although this time is another technique, right click, go to wrap text, in front of text, move that to here, hold down my Alt or Option key, click and drag. Just make sure they're both selected, go to graphics format, align, align to top, make sure they're both perfectly lined up. And then just make sure the space between the pumpkin and the circle is the same both sides. If not, just move your arrow key, just use your arrow keys. Perfect, so once you're happy with that, you can just print it out or you can save it as a PDF. Go to File, Save As, go down to File Format, click on the drop down, and select PDF. And then just click Save. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.